In this video, let's go through three different ways of cutting a large area into a set of tiled sheets. Two are going to be pretty straightforward and more labor intensive, and our third one's going to be a more automated option. So what we have is a large site, and we're wanting to view in our plan set all of the areas that are inside of this rectangle here. But if we put this on a single sheet, it's too large a scale. So we need to cut it down to a series of zoomed in sheets. The first thing you need to know is that the size of your grids to cut this up into a gridded set is dependent on the size of your viewport and your layout and your desired scale. So let's jump over here to our DWT that represents our layout. So this is going to be the size of our viewport. And we, for the purpose of this video, are going to say a 50 scale set of sheets. So I'm going to come over here and we're just going to start one of the manual ways. So I'm going to come down, I'm going to create a layout from that DWT file. And it was the 50 scale layout is what we're playing with. Just quickly make that and it's going to be empty. So I'm going to activate this viewport. If the viewport is locked, I'm going to unlock it, which it is unlocked. Zoom extents and I'm going to zoom in somewhere in here on my site and then set my scale. Now that it's set, I'm going to deactivate the viewport. I'm going to draw a rectangle directly on top of my viewport. I'm going to select that rectangle and we're going to use the change space command, CH space, and it's going to move that rectangle from paper space to model space. So now I have the size of a grid square for my layout at a 50 scale. So now it's just pure drafting, taking this and manually laying these out. I'm just going to do two real fast. So you'd go in and manually lay out these. You could copy as an array or however you want to, but get your grid square layout. Now that I have that, let's come back over here activate that viewport. Here's my grid squares. I'm going to select that grid, the one that we're wanting to cut a sheet for. Go to my layout tab and um, I actually need to go to my view tab. So let's go to view. We're going to come over here to the navigate 2D. Hit this pull down. We're going to say object. I'm going to zoom to the object I have selected then I'm going to set it to a nice perfect 50. And there I have that sheet set. That sheet cut, rinse and repeat for how many times you need to. Let's do it one more manual way. I'm going to just make another layout. And if you do it this way, we're going to make a little bit of a change. Make this 50 again. If I can click it. So now we've got this layout. And if for the method we're fixing to do, I actually don't want a viewport. So I want to delete it. I've got these two lines here to, for the purposes that just are for grips. All of the first steps for getting your grid squares is the same. So you would have that layout, get your grid squares, and get, get them laid out. But now, under the View tab, I want to make a view. So let's define a window and grab my area for my grid square and enter give it a name b2 and hit ok and if i come over to manage views i might actually have to so that's b2 is the one we just made so now i can come over here to my layout go to my view tab nope layout tab and we're going to insert a view B2. Drop it. And then I can move it and hook it to where I want it to be. The benefit of doing it this way is that it's you know it's locked into that scale and it is this view every time. You have them listed in that manage views. And if you're using Sheet Set Manager, these views will be in there as model views. So if you have another sheet. Uh, another drawing completely and you're wanting to recreate those views, you can use them. 
that way. So, but that's all a lot of manual work. So now let's do the more automated way. Before we do that, I'm going to let's just delete these. We don't need them anymore. We've seen the hard way. Let's do it the better way. So we're going to utilize the map book tool. So I'm going to delete these. And before we use a map book tool, what first thing we need to do is go back to our DWT. So whichever layout you're doing, you're going to have your viewport. I'm going to delete this viewport so that you can see me make one. I'm going to do M view, draw the view. Now, if you don't want to use the M view command, you don't necessarily have to. You can always do the layout here and use the rectangle. But now that I have that view in there, the scale of this view doesn't really matter. But what does matter is my map space pane. So I'm going to close this so you can see it. You can map, type map W space, or you can come to the Home tab and open it from here. Once you have the map space pane open, you're going to come down to Map Book tab. In the DWT, we're going to go to Tools. Identify a template placeholder. And here you identify which viewports represent these pieces. Now I've only got the main, but you could have a key. Under main, I'm going to select it and select that viewport. And hit OK and save. Now that's done, I'm going to come back over to where I want to cut my sheets. Still in map W space under map book, we're going to make a new one. And we're just going to step through the wizard. In here, under model space, you give it a name, under sheet settings, you choose that template. Make sure that I'm using the right one here. And however many of those ribbons, you probably noticed I had a whole bunch of layouts. But I had only have only done that step where I identified the map plane in two. So it's going to parse it down to this, just those two. So I'm going to choose 50. I don't have these two. And there's where I set my scale. I'm going to come down to tiling scheme, pick the upper left hand corner. You can choose the layer in which to put your tiles on if you so wish. If you've made one. I'm going to change my overlap. You can have overlap. I'm going to put mine at zero. And it says three columns, three rows. If I hit preview tiles, I can see, whoop, refresh, I can see the tiles at 50. So I don't have enough. I actually need four rows. So let's exit, go to four rows, preview again if you want to, so you can see that it's everything. We're good to go. Exit. Come down to your naming scheme. You can choose however you want to. I'm going to choose begin with columns and I want my columns to be alpha and my rows to be numeric starting with one and counting up by one. I do not have a key, a legend or anything. It will create a sheet set or create it as a subset of an existing one. I'm going to take create new, generate. I've already made it so I'm going to overwrite it. And you'll see it automatically generated that grid and it created as map book and it created layouts. Now when I click this Notice that you don't see anything. This is actually wrong. Now, if this happens, and I wanted to do it so it would do it wrong at least once so you could see it, because sometimes this just happens. It's actually viewing up here. And that is because there's something wrong in my DWT. And from time to time, this can happen. So I'm going to come back over here. And what has happened is that this viewport's origin coordinate system is off. And I have a a list file that I found in one of the help forms that will fix this and it's I will try to uh, attach it to this video I will load the lisp and run the command it's called SVT like my viewport and hit enter and you can see that the view target was off for some reason I'm not entirely sure why but now it's set to 000, zero, zero. we're going to save Let's come over to map book and let's see what happens when we just rebuild. And there we go. We've got our layouts, they're automatically cut. And it's in our grid. 
and you can see that they are intelligent. And there's a whole bunch of other things you can do with map books. I haven't left around. There's several videos on, out on YouTube about it. I just wanted to cover this quickly for you, and so that you can see us cutting these layouts and getting it right and seeing how to fix that error. Most importantly, if you like this video, please click like. Feel free to subscribe. Leave comments if you have any.